Reverse shells have been around for quite some time now, and most of the people they are not aware of this perhaps, but Metasploit is not the beginning of reverse shell. Reverse shell was there from the time when Unix or Linux was developed. Like Unix was developed back in 1970s, and reverse shell, like the invent of reverse shell and the progress of reverse shell has started from that point. So, all of you people who think that Metasploit is the only thing that can go ahead and give you a reverse shell, well, you guys are wrong. Hey, this is James here from Hackathon, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and create a Perl reverse shell, and for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, create an elf file like an unix executable file out of this particular reverse shell and then i'll execute to get execute that particular uh, executable like elf executable to get a reverse shell on my system this can also be done for windows system i would be using a particular tool for this conversion that's called perl to exe now as you can see here, I've got my reverse shell here. It's basically nothing. This is my IP address, my local IP address. It will be connecting back to this particular IP address and this is my port. And it would be just going, going ahead and calling a socket, a TCP socket and doing a connect. That's it. And it would be executing slash bin slash sh. That's the concept of reverse shell. That's pretty much it guys. So I'll just go ahead and do a Perl to uh, and I'll post a link of this particular uh, application in my description. So I'll just do a Perl to exe and that would go ahead and generate the file. Yeah, there we go. We've got Perl to exe right here. If I do a file rsh, you can name the file anything that you want. And here we have got a 64-bit ELF RSH. Now I'll set up my listener. To set up my listener, I'll be using netcat once again. So netcat hyphen NLVP, P stands for protocol 1234. Right, so at this point of time, uh, this particular server is listening to any calls that's coming on 1234, port number 1234. Right, so I've got another tab open here. I'll do an ls and I've got rsh here and I'll just go ahead and do a dot slash rsh and that would go ahead and bingo. We have a shell. It's connected and if I do a who am I I'll get root if I do a uname hyphen a. Well, I'm connected back to my sh my own system, my own Kali system, so I'm getting this. If I do an ifconfig, I'll get the ifconfig data, and pretty much I am connected at this point of time using a very simple reverse shell that was developed using Perl. And it was, and the elf executable was created using Perl to exe. You can use that to go ahead and create Windows executables as well. Well, I do hope that this particular tutorial was helpful. Do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to stay updated on my latest uploads. And I am giving away a free CEH 10. Uh, full course materials so do subscribe and let me know in the comments once again thank you for watching this video have a good day now bye bye